Hi, my name is Abby Kohut Jackson. I'm a medical student at St. Louis University School of Medicine. Um, and the work I'm presenting here at ASCO is about state paid mandatory medical leave policies and cancer stage at diagnosis. So cancer workup and diagnosis is very expensive and also very time consuming for patients. So they might have appointments for symptoms that pop up or screenings, which then launches the process of diagnosis and then treatment initiation. So since 2012, several states have recently implemented paid medical leave policies um, that provide patients the opportunity to keep their jobs, keep their income, um, but take time off from work to tend to illness. So we wanted to investigate the association between these policies and cancer stage at diagnosis. So we did a um, analysis of stage one and stage four cancer diagnoses um, in states that either implemented paid medical leave policies or did not implement such policies. And we found that there was an associated increase in stage one diagnoses and decrease in stage four diagnoses associated with these paid medical leave policies. Um, so we're not exactly sure what's underlying the mechanism of our findings at this point. It could be due to the fact that patients are easier, are more able to get their screenings, um, or possibly that they're able to get in for diagnostic workup sooner in the course of cancer workup and treatment. So overall, policies that aim to support patients through the process of diagnosis, workup, and all the way through treatment um, may be a feasible way to improve earlier cancer diagnoses and then ultimately improve overall outcomes.